Barry Bradnam, welcome along to Head to Head. Last week, Daniel Viles from Queensland staked his claim to be Australia's greatest sporting mind, winning by a head to head record margin. It was a fantastic contest, and this week, He's back to defend his title against a fresh challenger. Now, if Daniel maintains his current form, he could battle his way to our Series 1 final. And in a shock twist, for an ABC program at least, the rewards for success are absolutely amazing. Thanks to ABC Shops, the winner of Series 1 will be off to the AFL Grand Final. And they'll also earn the right, at the end of the year, to play off against the Series 2 champion. Now, the victor on that auspicious night, that famous first Saturday in December, will be flying off to the UK for the finals of Wimbledon. Let's get on with it, folks. Let's meet our competitors. <laughs> and our champion is Daniel Viles, a student from Carindale in Queensland who describes himself as being mildly obsessive with a sensitive streak. Daniel Viles. <laughs> Daniel, welcome Absolutely. back, mate. Great to have you here. Thanks very much. Uh, last week, that was a stunning debut. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, you said that. Uh, <laughs> you said there that you describe yourself with a sensitive streak. I didn't sense much sensitivity. You ruthlessly dismantled the three-time champion, and you sledged him along the way. Well, look, I mean, Raj was a really decent, good human being, and there's just no place for that on head-to-head. -head. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> hey, good luck tonight. Thank you very much, Daniel Viles. Let's bring on your opponent. challenger is Paul Roach, a recruitment consultant from Greenwich in New South Wales. He once scored a hat-trick in an under-14 soccer match and absolutely no one can take that away from him. G'day, Paul. Ashley, how are you going? A hat-trick. Yep. Talk me through the best of them. Oh, I don't remember a lot about it. It was about the 14 Zs or something uh, a long time ago. But, uh, look, I think it was a 6-0 win that we had and I scored half of them. And, uh, it's about as proud as I get when it comes to actually playing sport. And it was all downhill from there for the rest of your sporting career? Uh, yeah, it looks sort of plateaued about the 14 Zs. Haven't right. really gone any worse than that. Yeah. Well, listen, you're up against a wild one tonight. Yeah. yeah Best of luck. Did you watch it last week? I did. I did. All right, good luck. Been yeah. studying up, Daniel? Never studied. Just all natural ability. He's got some confidence, <laughs> folks, hasn't he? <laughs> all right, well, good luck to both of you. It's time to get things cracking. Let's play the first quarter of Head to Head. Gentle start it is as well. We've got ten questions. Now, they're either multiple choice or they're true or false. There's one point for a correct answer. No penalty if you get it wrong. So, basically, just let it rip. Daniel, you're the defending champion. You hit the hot seat first. <laughs> Last week, Daniel, nine out of ten in the first round. That's a record on the show. A stellar start. Here to make history. Well, let's see if you can repeat that performance and give your, <laughs> give your challengers something to chase tonight. Question one, first of ten. First quarter action, good luck. True or false? Australian Olympian Russell Laval competes in table tennis. True. That's correct. The champ is away. <laughs> Question two. How many Sydney to Hobart yacht races have, have there been? A, 61. B, 51. C, 41. D, 31. 61. That's correct. <laughs> True or false? The Tour de Femme is a cycling event in Canberra. False. Incorrect. It's true. Question four. Which of the following is not a legend in the Sport Australia Hall of Fame? A, Walter Lindrum. B, Heather Mackay. C, Vic Patrick. Or D, Ron Barassi. Ron Barassi. That's correct. Mm. Good start. Mm. True or false? The Flying Mare is a Greco-Roman wrestling hold. False. Incorrect. It's true. I would have given you an extra point if you could have demonstrated it for us as well. <laughs> Talk to not, me after. It's not to be. <laughs> Question six. Who was the youngest to play 300 VFL slash AFL matches? A. Kevin Bartlett. B. Simon Madden. C. Nathan Burke. Or D. Bernie Quinlan. I'll go Kevin Bartlett. That's incorrect. It was B. Simon Madden. True or false? Federal Minister for Sport in 2005 was Brendan Nelson. False. Correct. Rod Kemp. Mm. He's going all right, folks. Mm. Question eight. In which sport did Australian Reg Snowy Baker not compete at the 1908 Olympics? A. Boxing. B. Swimming. C. Athletics. D. Diving. Diving. Incorrect. Athletics. 
It was some champion, Red Snowy Baker. True or false? In harness racing, the Miracle Mile has never been won twice in a row. True. Incorrect. False. Final question. In which of these sports was Elvis never involved in one of his movies? A, surfing. B, gridiron. C, motor racing. D, boxing. Boxing. That is incorrect. It was actually gridiron. Not a bad start for the champ. Put your hands together. Not as good as last week, but you still did something for the challenger to chase. Four out of ten. Not good. Not good. What happened? Um, I think a lot of my brain cells just weren't talking to each other. Uh, a little bit of disunity going on, and quite frankly, not good. That happens when you're in the hot seat, mate. It does. Back to the champion's post for you. Our challenger, Paul, hit the hot seat. <laughs> How's that hot seat feel? Yeah, pretty good. Yep. Not Fits nicely. No. Four out of ten, why would you be intimidated? Oh, I'm loving this, folks. We've got some sledging going on tonight. I'm all for it. Bring it on. <laughs> OK, four is the score to beat at the moment. You have ten questions. True or false, multiple choice, same rules apply. One point for each correct answer. Your first question sure. is true or false. Jamie Dwyer scored the winning goal for Australia in the hockey final at Athens. Got a coin. Uh, false. That is incorrect. Question two. Which of these is not an Adelaide racetrack? A, Eagle Farm. B, Cheltenham. C, Morfittville. D, Victoria Park. Is not an Adelaide racetrack? Correct. Eagle Farm. That's correct. Our challenge is away. <laughs> it's nice to get that first one out of the way early. Just relax, you're going fine. True or false, Paul? The Admiral's Cup is held in each winner's country. False. That's correct. It's always held in the UK. <laughs> Two points adrift. Plenty of questions up your sleeve. Question number four. Who was unbeaten for nine years in the 400 metre hurdles? A. Ed Moses. B. Carl Lewis. C. Greg Foster. D. Daly Thompson. Uh, Ed Moses. That is correct. Mm. <laughs> True or false? Aussie Joe Bugner acted in a movie called I Am for the Hippopotamus. <laughs> Uh, true. It'd have to be, wouldn't it? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Only Aussie Joe. We love him. When the Sydney Swans won the 2005 AFL Grand Final, they broke a premiership drought of how many years? A, 62. B, 72. C, 82. D, 92. Um, 30, um, 7, 67 plus 5. What are the options again? A62, mm -hmm. B72. That one, B. B is correct. Yeah. 1933 to you. <laughs> True or false, you're going real well. The 1938 Australian Grand Prix was held at Mount Panorama. Yeah, we'll get definitely hosted it around then, so we'll have to go true. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Three questions to go. The man who founded the modern Olympics had what title? A Lord. B, Prince. C, Baron. D, King. Baron Pierre, what's his face? Yeah, Baron. C. Is correct. Baron de Coubertin. <laughs> True or false? Homer Simpson's favourite baseball team are the Springfield Isotopes. Uh, probably true. Is that a guess? Uh, well, he works in a nuclear plant. He's from Springfield. It sounds plausible. True. That'll do. It's correct. Well done. I'll give it to you. <laughs> And your final question, Paul, round one action on head-to-head. -head. Claire Dennis was an Australian Olympic gold medalist in which sport? A, athletics, B, equestrian, C, swimming, D, cycling. Swimming. That's correct. <laughs> Give it up for the challenger. You've got nine. You've equaled the, the world record here on head-to-head. The to world head. record? Yeah, we'll, we'll claim it as a world record for an opening stand in round one action. But I've got to say, I sense that you had a little bit of luck there. Oh, look, you've got to take the luck when you can get it, you know? Well, it's it's on not just a game of skill. It's what he might think. All right. We've got two live ones here. I'll correct myself tonight, <laughs> folks. This is going to be a good contest. You've left the champion with something to chase. You're on nine. Head back to the challenger's corner. Paul. <laughs> This is what it's all about, folks. It's quarter time in the battle for the belt, and the score is Paul on nine, leading our champion Daniel on four. 
How are Ian Thorpe and Don Bradman connected? Let's find out in degrees from the Don. Don Bradman shares the test record fifth wicket partnership of 405 runs with Sid Barnes, who as a columnist came up with the nickname Meat Pie Artie for rugby league legend Arthur Beetson, who used to play cards with Dawn Fraser, who was a teammate of Murray Rose, whose winning time in the 400 metres at the Melbourne Olympics was 44 seconds behind Ian Thorpe's time at Athens. Ian Thorpe, degrees from the Don, five. And it's time for the second quarter of Head to Head. I love this quarter. You have two minutes to answer up to 20 questions on your special subject. And again, one point for a correct answer. No penalty for a wrong answer. Also, you can pass. We'll return to the question if time permits. Daniel, hit the hot seat. You've got some work to do. I'm pulling my head in. <laughs> no more sledging? No more sledging. Focus on work. the job at hand. Work. <laughs> Your special subject tonight is the Barcelona Olympics. Mm. What makes that Olympic game so special for you? Uh, it was when I was in high school, um, which meant I wasn't doing any work, so I could stay up all night and watch it. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, best of luck. You're Thank five you. points adrift. Two minutes on the clock. We can pass. Come back to it if time permits. Your time starts now. Which cyclist won Australia's first gold medal of the Games? Kathy Watt. Correct. Which future six-time boxing world champion won the gold medal in the lightweight division? Oscar De La Hoya. Correct. Who partnered Nicole Provis to win bronze for Rachel Australia? Rachel McQuillan. Correct. Who carried the flag for Australia at the opening ceremony? Colin Beeshill. Incorrect. Jenny Donnett. Which nation defeated Australia in the playoff for the bronze medal? Ghana. Correct. Which country made its first appearance at an Olympics since 1960? South Africa. Correct. Which Hungarian female swimmer won three gold Christina medals? Christina Egazegi. Correct. Which country defeated the Kookaburras in the men's hockey gold medal final? Germany. Correct. Which Australian city was one of the unsuccessful Brisbane. final? Brisbane. Correct. Who lit the torch at the, uh, the opening ceremony by firing an arrow into the cauldron? It was great, but I forget his name. <laughs> Incorrect. It was Antonio Ribolo. <laughs> Baseball and which other sport made Badminton. their... Correct. Which European country did the US Dream Team defeat in the men's basketball final? Croatia. Correct. Name either of the two Australian cyclists to win medals at both Seoul and Barcelona. Gary Niemond. Correct. Or Stephen McLeod. Wh which team topped the medal tally with 112 medals? Unified team. Correct. Who broke Kieran Perkins' world record in winning the men's 400 metre freestyle? Yevgeny Sadovsky. Correct. Which British athlete's father ran onto the track to help his injured son complete... Redmond. Derek Redmond. Correct. Which competitor won six gold medals at the Games, including four on one day? Just passed. Who was the only American to win a medal in the men's 100 metre sprint? Calvin Smith. Incorrect. It was Dennis Mitchell. Which player defeated Steffi Graf in the women's singles tennis Jennifer final? Jennifer Capriati. Correct. Clint Robinson won gold in canoeing over what distance? 1,000 metres. Correct. Which competitor won six gold medals at the Games, including four on one day? Chebo. Correct. 20 questions have been answered. That's another record on head to head. <laughs> Hands together. Four <laughs> champions. Wow. <laughs> How did you go in high school, by the way? Um, <laughs> I got into university. My God, that was unbelievable. You're on 21, you've answered 17 questions correctly. That's another world record here <laughs> on Head to Head. And you're back in front. Back to the Champions Corner for you, Daniel Paul. What to do? Get into the hot seat. He's dangerous when he's focused. You stole the sledge. I was going to ask him how he went in high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. The good news is you had a cracking first round. You're 12 points adrift, 20 questions with which to answer, and your special subject is the Australian Formula One Grand Prix. Indeed. Now, how well do you know it? Well, we're about to find out. Let's We've been to a couple. <laughs> Let's get we'll into see. it. We'll see. Sure. Two minutes on the clock for our challenger, Paul. Your time starts now. Which circuit is longer, Melbourne or Adelaide? Melbourne. Correct. An exploding tyre robbed which British driver? Nigel Mansell. Correct. Which Brazilian is the only driver to take part in all ten races in Melbourne but never win? Barrichello. Correct. Michael Schumacher retired from the 1994 race in Adelaide after a controversial collision with which driver? Damon Hill. Correct. 
Which former world champion won the race in a Benetton Ford in 1990? PK. Correct. True or false, the Melbourne race has always been the first race of the season. Uh, true. Incorrect. False. Who was the only Ferrari driver to win the race in Adelaide? Berger. Correct. Who qualified on pole position in the first race in Melbourne in 1996? Villeneuve. Correct. How many times did the race take place in Adelaide? 5, 8, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 90, 11. Correct. Which Jordan driver finished second in 1999? Pass. How many turns are on the Albert Park circuit in Melbourne? How many what? Turns. Pass. Which driver took pole position, had the fastest race lap and won the race in 1995? 95 was Hill. Correct. The 1989 race in Adelaide was just the second trip to the top of the podium for which Belgium driver? Um, 89. 89. Uh, pass. Part of Decatoville Terrace was renamed what straight during the Adelaide race? Mm -hmm. Brabham. Correct. Which two teams did Gerhard Berger race with in Adelaide? F Ferrari and Williams. Incorrect. Ferrari and McLaren. Did the cars run clockwise or anti-clockwise on the Adelaide circuit? Clockwise. Correct. Which Jordan driver got airborne after his car clipped arrival in the opening, sec opening seconds of the Melbourne Brundle. race? Of Brundle, you've answered that correctly. You got it in as I was asking the question. Well done. We've got two real smart guys battling out for the title tonight. <clears throat> Paul passed on a couple of questions, and I know you're playing along at home, so I'll just clean up the homework for you. The Jordan driver who finished second in 1999 was Heinz Harold Frentzen. Uh, there's 16 turns on the Elbert Park circuit in Melbourne and the 1989 race in Adelaide was just the second trip to the top of the podium for Thierry Bootsen, the Belgian driver. Good effort though. It's a tight one tonight. Back to the cha Challenger's Corner for you. <laughs> Looking forward to the second half of Head to Head. Let's have a look at the way it is at the half-time point though. The battle for the belt sees the scores all locked up. Paul and Daniel, 21 apiece. There was a lot at stake when the Wallabies played England in 1975. They'd never won a test at Ballymore and hadn't won a series in 10 years. But Stuart McDougall was a little over-enthusiastic in his desire to get the ball from the very first ruck. The Wallabies won the game and the series, signalling a revival in the fortunes of Australian rugby union. We are smack bang in the middle of a cracking contest. It's time now for the third quarter of Head to Head. This is my favourite part of the show. It's the all-important Premiership Quarter. Now, we call this the Premiership Quarter, the money quarter, if you like, because no one has lost after leading at three-quarter time. In this round, there's two minutes of questions. Still one point for a correct answer, but now we introduce a one-point penalty if you get it wrong. Let's put two minutes on the clock and get started. 21 all. Good luck to both of you. Your time starts now. What is the perfect score in 10-pin bowling? Paul. 300. Correct. Which rugby league legend is nicknamed Bozo? Paul. Bob Fulton. Correct. Who is the only Australian to score a double century against South Africa? Paul. Ricky Ponting. Incorrect. During the 1990s, Greg Blewett. Which AFL club did Paul Keating join shortly before becoming Prime Minister? <laughs> Collingwood. Famous for his motivational speeches and poems, his former swimming coach, Laurie Hu. Paul. Lawrence. Correct. Which Australian soccer player once said, playing soccer for Australia, Paul? Craig Johnson. Is like surfing for England. Correct. Which town was the birthplace of Greg Norman and Pat Rafter? Daniel. Mount Isa. Correct. With metrification, was the Melbourne Cup distance shortened or lengthened? Paul. All shortened. Correct. In American football, how many points is a touchdown worth? Daniel. Six. Correct. Departing the Sydney Olympics rather than race Cathy Freeman was Marie. Daniel. Jose Perec. Correct. In 2001, who did Harsim Rahman defeat for the heavyweight championship? A boxer. Lennox Lewis. At the Seoul Olympics, Debbie Bowman captained her Australian team to... Daniel. Hockey. Correct. 
Who did Arthur Ashe defeat in the 1975 Wimbledon final? Daniel. Jimmy Connors. Correct. In what country were the Empire Games first held? Paul. <laughs> England. Incorrect. Canada. Winning the World Open squash title in 1993 was Michelle Hu. Martin. Daniel, correct. Sorry. Wait for your name to be called. In what sport has Michaeli Jones won world titles? Daniel. Triathlon. Correct. Who ran the women's 3,000 metres final barefoot at the 1984 Daniel? Zola Bud. Correct. Who carried the Australian flag at the opening ceremony of the 2000 Olympics? Daniel. Andrew Gaze. Correct. Who scored Australia's only goal in normal time at the World Cup qualifier against Uruguay? Paul? Aloisi. Incorrect. Marco Bresciano. Bangladesh won its first cricket test against which country? Paul? Zimbabwe. Uh, Daniel Rather, Zimbabwe is correct. Got in on the buzzer there after I asked the question. Well done. That was a big quarter. <laughs> Interesting tactics by both of our competitors there. Paul, I got the, the distinct feeling that you decided to jump in first before you knew the answer, hoping that the answer would come to you. Paid the penalty a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, folks. It's three-quarter time in the battle for the belt, and the score is our defending champion, Daniel, has blitzed it in the Premiership quarter. On 31 points, he leads by eight from Paul, back on 23. <laughs> and we're under the home stretch. Time for the fourth and final quarter of Head to Head. This is it, folks. It's time to sort this contest out once and for all. Everything is at stake here. There's two points for a correct answer now and a two-point penalty for a mistake. So, Paul, even though you're eight points adrift, plenty of chances for you to come back here with uh, two points for each correct answer. Four Good luck. questions. And, Daniel, you're looking to defend the belt, become only the second person on the show that's successfully done it. So, plenty to play for. Here we go. The battle for the belt. <laughs> Final two minutes. And let's get things started. Your time starts... Now, Brian Smith has coached which NRL team since 1990? Paul. Parramatta. Correct. In what year did Port Adelaide win their first AFL grand final? Daniel? 2004. Correct. In 1992, who defeated Jeff Fennick at Princess Park in Melbourne? Daniel? Azuma Nelson. Correct. Who became the first woman to swim the 1500 metres in less than 17 minutes in 1973? Daniel? Shane Gould. Correct. Which country won the Davis Cup of Tennis in 2005? Daniel? Croatia. Correct. My Spin on Cricket is a recent book by which former Australian Paul? Okay. Incorrect. Richie Benard. Who passed the Olympic torch to Cathy Freeman at the Sydney Olympics? Daniel. Debbie Flintoff King. Correct. Which horse before Maccabi Diva was the last to win two Melbourne Cups? Paul. Think big. Correct. The little girl who made the 1993 speech to the... Paul. Tanya Blinko. Correct. Who is the only Australian woman to have won an individual medal at the World Gymnastics Championships? Minette Russo. Correct. What is the name of Victoria's new National Basketball League team? South Dragons. The tennis player who cried on the shoulder of the Duchess of Paul? Jana Novotna. After choking at Wimbledon. Correct. Who was the first American to win the Tour de France? Paul. Lance Armstrong. Incorrect. Greg LeMond. Name the only two New Zealand golfers to have won a major. Paul? Uh, well, Michael Campbell. And uh, John Smith. <laughs> Incorrect. Bob Charles. In what year did the Wallabies first tour of the UK? 1908. Which, which Hollywood star is related to two former New Zealand test cricket captains? Daniel. Russell Crowe. Correct. Which Australian was the first non-British male to win a Wimbledon singles title? Daniel. John Bromwich. Incorrect. Norman Brooks. What year was the English Premier League soccer introduced? <laughs> Question's been asked. The buzzer has sounded. The contest is over and we found our champion. Hands together, please. Fantastic <laughs> battle tonight on Head to Head. <laughs> it was locked together at half-time, but Daniel blew his competitor away in the second half of Head to Head. We have a winner for the second time on the show. Someone has defended their belt. Please put your hands together for Daniel. 43 to 25. <laughs> Tonight. Well done, Daniel. A really good effort. <laughs> Paul, put in a top effort, mate. Bad luck, though. Thanks very much for competing. You're a wonderful competitor. Unfortunately, though, I have to ask you to hit the sheds. Beaten by the better side. <laughs> Come on, mate. Good on you, mate. Well done. Thanks, thanks. Good effort. <laughs>
Real good effort from Paul. He does leave without the belt, unfortunately, but he'll pick up a gift voucher and he can use that at any ABC shop. Daniel, you are keeping the dream alive. Congratulations, my friend. You've earned the right to hold up the head-to-head -head championship belt. Do it, mate. That's what it's all about. Daniel shows it off. I can tell you that he will be back next week to try and defend his title. And we'll see you then. Good night.